Well, hey everybody, how you doing? And welcome back. I'm gonna show you guys a flashlight today I had picked up probably about six months ago. Um, lost my flashlight at work one day, needed a flashlight the next morning, so on my way to work, I picked another flashlight up, just ran up to Walmart, picked up one of their uh, low budget line flashlights. Love the thing. It works great. I mean, I cannot complain about it whatsoever. Like I said, I've had it for six months. I use it every single day at work. It's always on my hip. I carry it with me everywhere. It's more like an EDC flashlight for me now. I don't have a teeny one I put in my pocket. I like just to carry my flashlight right on my bell hoop, right on my hip. We always know where it's at, and I can grab it quickly if I need it. But anyways, um, it's made by Ozark Trail. Like I said, I do believe it's a low-budget uh, low line from Walmart, Wally World, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but it worked out really well. I went back, purchased two more of them, so I have three of them. All of them are all different sizes. So let's move over to the desk here and show you guys what they look like, let you all check them out. Okay, folks, let's check out these flashlights. Got a 200 loom, got a 150 loom, and I got a 50 loom. And let's check out the similarities on these three flashlights first. Um, they're all the same color, same company, of course. They all have the Ozark Trail symbol on them. They're all supposedly made out of aerospace grade aluminum. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that either, but they are made out of aluminum made out of some well-crafted aluminum they feel really well all of them have a little bit of weight to them so they feel like you got for what you got what you paid for that's for sure and they all have this chipping all over the handle not only does it make the flashlights look really sharp it gives you a lot better of a grip on the flashlights too and they all have this red seal here probably to keep the moisture out from where the batteries are um, does not mean they're waterproof whatsoever didn't say that on there at all only thing they are is shock resistance up to one meter and the other similarity they have with them they all turn on and off the same way they've just got your basic on and off push button are not tactical flashlights so they don't have all your fancy gizmos on them like your blinking lights your red mode your green mode your any modes just done and off okay let's go over the flashlights one at a time start with the 50 loom this 50 loom is 4.2 inches long it is 1.1 inch in diameter and 1.1 inch in height weighs uh, 0.3 pounds which is 4.8 ounces like I did say it runs on three AAA batteries which is kind of unique on how you put the flashlight put the batteries in the flashlight got this sleeve that's hooked down to the bottom here and I don't know if that's good or if that's bad I'm sure if you drop it and it breaks off it's bad but one good thing I did notice about it was once you put your batteries in and you close this, you don't hear a thing. You don't hear the batteries moving, you don't hear anything rattling around in there. It's quiet. This particular one here I keep on my nightstand. So this is my go-to flashlight in the middle of the night if something goes bump. So I need it quiet. I don't need batteries jiggling around or anything in there while I'm trying to creep around my house and make sure everything's clear. Let's go on to the next flashlight. This is the 150 loom. This particular flashlight here is 4.7 inches long 
and it's 1.1 inch in diameter and 1.2 inches in height. It's got the wider bevel around the head of the flashlight, which makes it a little, a little, excuse me, a little taller. Uh, this flashlight weighs, um, what was it? Uh, it weighed 0.5 pounds, excuse me, which is your uh, 8 ounces. And this particular flashlight does take the three AAA batteries also, and the batteries go in the same way as the 50 loom. So this is my first flashlight I bought before I bought the other two. I want to take to work with me all the time. It's basically on my hip constantly, so it's basically an EDC, excuse me, an EDC flashlight. Uh, it's my go-to if I'm if I'm out at nighttime. It's always on my hip. So, as, I, as the point was I was trying to make is, I'm glad it's quiet. 200 loom. This is a bright little flashlight. Really 200 looms? I don't know. I don't think so. Not for the money you pay for these. Um, but, I guess it is possible. I don't have a meter to check it out and find out. But this particular one here is a bit longer. Six, six, <laughs> excuse me. Six inches long, and it is 0.9 width and 1.1 height. So it's a slim, slim flashlight. It's just long. This one only runs on two AA batteries, which I might have say you can hear these. So, anyways, this one just goes in my bug out bag. I made a holster for this out of some paracord. And I just throw it in my in my bug out bag. That's just where it sits. So I've always got it. Um, this one did weigh uh, 0.35 pounds, 5.6 ounces. And this particular flashlight here with the 200 looms and the two AA batteries does have a constant runtime of one and a half hours. So you don't get a whole lot of time out of this flashlight because it's 200 looms. The 150 had a runtime of six and a quarter hours, and of course the 50 loom had an 11 hour runtime. So those are all three of the flashlights: 50, 150, and 200. Only downfall I can see about these flashlights: I've got it on felt right now. If I had this on a hard surface they roll. There's no flat spots on any of these flashlights, so they do roll. Um, I keep the 50 loom, like I said, on my nightstand. I do have to put it up against something, or I will hear it roll off in the middle of the night and hit the floor. But it's about the only downfall I can find with these. They're really nice. They seem to be fairly bright. Um, two of them I might have have the Cree LED light bulbs and the 50 looms get your ordinary LED light bulbs. Well, I did take these out of my backyard and did some testing with them. So let's clip over to that and have you guys check that out. Ozark Trail 50 loom, 150 loom, 200 loom testing. I'm in my backyard about exactly 50 feet from the back of my garage. I'm going to use the 50 loom first. It's got sort of a bluish tint to the 50 loom. You can make everything out faintly. The back side of the garage. The 150 loom. At somewhat of a tighter pattern on the 150, definitely brighter. You can make out everything a lot better in the back of the garage. You can see my fence really well on the left side. The 200. 
Looks like you got just a little bit wider of a spectrum than you do on the 150. Definitely looks like it's a little brighter than the 150. You can really make everything out. You can even see my fake owl in between the fence and the garage there. Helps keep my raccoons, or not my, but helps keep the raccoons off my damn garage. You can really make out the fence, the lawn, and the whole back side of the garage. So again, that's the Ozark Trails 50, 150, 200 loom flashlights at 50 feet. Looking at the back of my garage. Okay, well that was the Ozark Trail flashlights. The last thing I want to tell you guys is the 50 loom was $8.97 at Walmart. The 150 loom, case not included of course, was $10.97 at Walmart. And the 200 loom was $14.97. So if you're in need of a flashlight, you don't have a lot of money, these are great budget flashlights, let me tell you. Any questions, any comments you got, please leave them down below. Besides that, thank you so much for watching. That's all I got for now. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Come on, Chance, come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy, come on.